I'm D, I review rums, and this is 1843. Hey guys, welcome back. It's a Bank Holiday Weekend Bank Holiday Special Review. I've um, got the uh, pretty and pink Arsenal top on. I don't think I've ever mentioned to you guys that I'm an Arsenal fan, but I'm repping my colours. My team is in well, start to the season, so I'm just going all out. I might start wearing more Arsenal jerseys for my American friends. Arsenal tops for my English friends uh, a bit more often. So I'll say, this is the Little Rum Box August edition. So we have Lost Year's Arabada Rum, and we have Remarkable Turtle Rum. And um, we're going to go over the remar remarkable total rum firstly, and we'll do a part two of the Los Shares Aribada. Aribada rum. That'll be next. So, remarkable total rum. These guys are based up in Perth, in Scotland. And what they do is they take rums to the Caribbean, they bring back, take them off to Scotland, they age them in whiskey casks. This one, particularly, they say it's aged in a peaty. XPT whiskey cast. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not a whiskey fan, and I definitely don't like PT whiskey, so I'm, <laughs> oh no. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, PT just tastes like eating moss. Oh, when I've had a peat whiskey, it's always been very smoky, um, very earthy. It tastes like it's eating the grass, eating just moss. It's just not nice. So I'm not looking forward to tasting this rum but it has been aged in these peat whiskey casks for 10 years up in scotland we'll see what that cool climate the change of aging process does to the rum and um, let's give it a go um yeah so let's get in a glass So first impressions, first impressions. Aroma rise, aroma, aroma wise, get my words out. Well, I'm sort of thinking about it. I was at Connell yesterday. It was a good day, I got, oh, I got hit by a lot of paint, hit by a lot of chocolate yesterday. It was absolutely, it was absolutely really messy yesterday. <laughs> but at first I've been carnival since, I don't want to say how long, but Carnival's not been in London for a couple of years because of COVID and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, it's, it's nice to be. It was nice to get out and have it back on in London again. Mm, I'm, really, I'm not really getting much out of this. If I've been brutally honest with you, in terms of first impression wise, I mean, some legs in there. And again, I'm always not sure. I'm never really, really sure if you guys are really catching this on the camera as much as clearly as I can see it myself. The legs are there, they're hanging around, they're not dropping, they're hanging quite a bit. So it does have a, it has a, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get. It's a, there's a citrus aroma to this. Citrusy, it almost, it almost has like an olive aroma to it as well, if I'm being honest with you. Like, it's real kind of natural in terms of scents, like I said, citrusy, a little bit of an olive scent going on in there. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah. Not a fact. Oh gosh, no. Oh wow. Oh, oh I need some water. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh, no. Um. Oh wow. Sorry. <laughs> so um, oh, I have to taste it again. <laughs> so it's a little peaty. Um, I guess my reaction. 
is more the fact that it doesn't taste like a rum, it tastes more like a whiskey, and I don't like whiskeys, so that's part of it as well. It's very, very dry. Um, so, PT, dry, tastes more like a whiskey than a rum. Um, there's a little bit of a, oh gosh, I can, I can still taste it. It's right at the back of my throat. This is what I do for you guys. <laughs> Too much of it, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's hard for me to even try to pick up flavors. I just, just don't like it so I dislike it so much. It just oh gosh. Admittedly though, it's it, it, it's quite smooth. It does go down well. It just doesn't taste well as it goes down. <laughs> All right. Lime time. I should have said it. I will put lime before I said it, but it's lime time. So let's see what the lime does to it and see if things are improved. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. oh wow. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I can't even keep my eyes open when I'm drinking this. It's like really shutting me down. No, sorry, no. I can't even give, I can't even review this. It's, uh, um, no guys. Um, so for me, <sighs> I guess I need to do the scores on doors. I think from my reaction, you know where I'm going with this. But before we do the scores, please like, share, subscribe, and comment to the video. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Let's grow this rum. And review community up and can get more rums up to you more quickly and more often those are the same thing mm -hmm. yeah so let's get the let's get the community growing um so all right scores on doors we have buy and keep buy and enjoy i and my brother with it listen i normally try to find a way to like a survey suggestion with this one, I don't think I've got anything to help this flavor out. Um, it's a hell to the nerve nah for me. It's a definitely no bother with it. And I've been brutal with you. I don't, I don't really get many of those, but this is definitely one of those. And again, again, I would, say, I would heavily say that I'm influenced. I don't like whiskeys, and uh, this tastes like a whiskey, but. Nonetheless, it's supposed to be a rum and it's not a nice rum. So that's my view, my view is no matter with it. That is the remarkable turtle rum, aged for 10 months in Perth in peated whiskey casks.